The secrets of water. What is water? A good question that is not easy to answer. It is basically and almost unbelievably an unknown phenomenon, but because it's the second most important element on Earth, it would certainly be worth respecting and exploring. What we know is a drop, what we don't know is an ocean. Water is vital to life on Earth, so let's look at it from all perspectives. Then we might get a little closer to the true essence of water. Come with me on a journey to look at water from all angles. Water is called H2O by chemists and has one negatively charged oxygen atom and two positively charged hydrogen atoms. This results in an attractive and repulsive force. The natural polarity, which can also be seen as the dance of life. Water is philosophically seen as a destructive force, but also kind and nourishing. On the energetic level, water is a carrier of energy. The medical view is limited to the role of transport and the industrial approach is that water can produce energy. Spiritually and throughout all world religions, water is recognized as the source of everything. Scientifically, however, water is definitely a rebel and drives researchers crazy because it behaves differently from other substances on almost all levels. Like expanding in the cold, losing weight in solid form and freezing from top to bottom. One of the important indications of nature's infinite intelligence whereby it protects the living on the water world. Water forms the bridge between matter and energy. Let's take a closer look at the conventional medical view. Water transports vital elements through bodily fluids such as blood, sweat and urine, but also removes waste and toxins by means of diarrhea and vomiting. With the new scientific views, however, the role of water in our body becomes more interesting, such as edema formation during repair work which we call inflammation, but actually indicates healing. There is now more and more evidence that water carries information, such as in the essences of homeopathy. Even that our water has memories, for example, in the form of traumas. But the most fascinating thing is that it can communicate. So considering the knowledge of our indigenous people, is water alive and filled with wisdom? The wonder of water, the source of life. In order to discover its magic, I set out on the path of connection, looking at similarities. Our Earth's surface consists of about 70% water, as well as our bodies. But if we take a closer look and dig deeper, the human body on a cellular level consists of more than 98% water. When we then rely on new discoveries that large rivers of fresh water flow beneath the Earth's surface, we could see our Earth as a mirror of our body. The processes of the trees with their photosynthesis are comparable with the processes of our body, with a common denominator, water as the elixir of life. It is no surprise that our body water has the same composition of minerals as the ocean. After all, life originated from there. Every snowflake on Earth is different, just like our fingerprints. A tribute to diversity in unity. Thinking out of the box, our body is a waterscape full of rivers and waterfalls and is only a tear or wound away from leaking. Water is the blood of the earth. Life evolves in a circle, as does the cycle of water. The quantity of water does not change, only the form, which gives us a feeling of endlessness. 
Everything is part of this cycle and has an influence on each other. If we honor this cycle of nature and reconnect with it, we will experience paradise on earth. Water is a great teacher. It shows us how to flow, connecting all. A drop in the ocean, the ocean in a drop. We get to know this special property of water better when we look at the fourth aggregate state of water. So far, we have always learned that there are three phases of water. Solid, liquid and gas. But Professor Gerard Pollack from the University of Washington has discovered a fourth phase, the structured water. This special form of jelly-like water, which has dozens of names, is formed on natural water-loving surfaces such as arteries, veins and leaves. Professor Pollack visited me in the water castle of Europe and he was excited about our glaciers, sources and large amount of fourth phase water. Some of the names are exclusion zone, structured, crystalline, plasma, gelled, hexagonal and coherent water. This special water is also found in our bodies and has special properties such as that of a battery, the so-called free energy where everybody is looking for. We find it in our cells, each with the potential of 1.4 volts, with the switch to turn it on and off being our consciousness. It has a higher viscosity, so the dream of walking on water could finally come true. It creates a clean zone and therefore ideal for detoxing. All in all, this structured water optimizes internal communication, transport quality and healing processes. This water answers many questions and solves most of our problems and responds positively to frequencies, tones, sounds that energize our body fluids. With our consciousness as a conductor, we take control of our body environment by humming and singing. Is water a living being? That's the question that everyone should answer for themselves. I treat water with respect and gratitude, because for me water is the expression and essence of life and the carrier of light, the universal life energy, the visible form of the all-connecting field. What is water for you? Let's respect and move our waters. Thank you for giving us life.